Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Marlou and this is my journals and today I'm going to update my TV show and movie journal. I currently do this once a year and it's just a fun thing to do. I just print out all the pictures of all the movies and new TV shows I've watched because I do a lot of rewatches and I don't print them out again. So the TV show side is kind of random but that's kind of the experience because I'm watching a show and then two years later I watch it again or maybe I watch it like every year so my opinion doesn't really change but it's also just really hard to rate because you can love a season one and hate a season four and yeah that's also why I don't do ratings I just write down like love okay don't like I don't want to focus so much on my review of the things but more to reflect back on it. So why I have this journal is because I think it's really fun that um, you can look back on everything you've watched. That's the main reason. But also we used to watch things on like um, VHS and DVD and you could just look through people's collection of it and then pick a movie. And now we don't do that anymore. So... I just like to think that I don't know how printed pictures hold up, so don't don't come at me. But let's say these pictures hold up ten years, twenty years, and my kids want to see a movie from my time, <laughs> and they can look through this journal and see the movie posters, and they're like, "That seems fun," and you used to love it. We could check that out, and I'd be like, "Great, let's see if it's on a streaming or whatever we're doing in that time." So I think. It's sort of like a catalog of things I've watched. I don't know if it makes sense, but it's fun. And this journal doesn't take up a lot of time because I only do it once a year because I don't watch that many movies in a year. I mean, I think it's a decent amount, but it's not like crazy. Um, like with my book journal, I could never do it once a year because it'd be crazy. But with movies, it's doable. So in this video, I'm just going to uh, show you how I do it. And I'm going to talk about the movies I've watched because I like movies. I like talking about movies. And if you are interested in some new movies for your watch list, then this video is for you. Um, we're going to start at the beginning of the year. Um, one thing I've noticed is that I watched a lot of Barbie movies, which is, it makes sense. And also a lot of horror. So, you know, the duality of men. Um... <laughs> I'm just gonna talk about my favorite movies. Obviously, the Barbie movie. I can't wait till it becomes uh, free on streaming things because I want to watch it with my boyfriend. I don't know. He's not like very keen on watching it, but I'm gonna force him because I love it so much. It's great. I watched 13 and I think that may be my, one of my favorite movies that I've watched ever in this year. I love movies about teenagers teenage girls going through shit but a lot of times it's just um depressing and not good and i'm not gonna say this movie isn't depressing but i loved it i started listening to playlists based off this movie i love it i don't want to hype it up because it's not for everyone but it was definitely for me i love the acting in this i love the storyline i love the what they did with the colors in the movie. I love movies that have like great aesthetics, great cinematography. I cannot pronounce that word for the love of God. Okay, I also watched Grease for the first time. I love the music in Grease. So I was like, I should finally watch the movie. The movie, it was not that good. It was kind of like, um, these people are well in their 30s. Why are they playing teenagers? It was campy and that's that's fine. But I just I don't love the story. It's like wow, this was meant to be a musical. You know what I mean? Because the music is fantastic. The, the clothes, the vibes are great. But like doesn't need to be a movie though. Maybe it was a musical first. I don't actually know if it was, but I don't know. This story, like what was it about? Like I, I have no idea. Like two people are like dating, sort of. I don't know. It <laughs> music fantastic uh yeah what else did we got here we got 
all the Barbie movies. No, I've not watched all the Barbie movies. I watched um, all the Barbie movies that I had not watched yet in my childhood. So Barbie and the 12 Dancing Princesses. Um, this is a public's favorite, but I thought that it was lacking a bit of story. Hey, don't come at me. It was just like they were going to dance every night, but they didn't really do anything. There were a lot of characters, but nothing really happened. So I it's not my favorite Barbie movie. Let's let's just say that. Um then I watched Barbie and the Magic Pegasus. Loved Barbie in that. Barbie was sassy and mean to the guy, and I was like, yeah, yeah, this is me. I loved it. And then I also watched Barbie as Rapunzel, and I thought that was really cute. Also sad, but cute. Um, What was the other one I really enjoyed? Oh my god, which one was that? She went, like, ice skating. That is the Pegasus one, isn't it? Wow, I'm confused. Um, anyways. <laughs> oh, my cat bites me. Uh, then we also watched Lilo and Stitch. I've seen that movie a million times, but I watch it with my boyfriend. I always cry at the dull part at the beginning. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's a normal part in a movie to cry, but it always gets me year after year. I cry every single time. It's so sad. Um, then I also tried to watch... A bunch of other movies similar to 13 like a diary to teenage girl and white oleander i don't know i pronounce everything wrong it's really annoying i'm sorry for that um but it was not giving like um okay i watched diary to teenage girl because landry sings it in uh american horror which is like my top one song of the year so i was like I'm gonna watch that movie, but it was sad, but not in a, like, <laughs> how can I explain it? That 13 gives me life, and some other movies around that topic just makes me depressed. I don't know, it has that hint of, it needs to give something that is fun. Otherwise, it's just sad. Does that make sense? I watched A Good Person, because I watch everything Florence Pugh is in, unless it's, like, super historical, because I'm not into that. Um... And it was so good, I cried, and yeah, it's good. Um, by making this video, I also concluded that Oppenheimer and Lightyear have the same poster. <laughs> so they're the same person in my head. Um, also watched Tic Tac Boom. Is that what it's called? Tic Tic Boom? I don't know. I watched it with my boyfriend. It's a musical, but it's like a movie musical with Andrew Garfield. He was fantastic. I loved it. My boyfriend hated it, so it's like... That brought down my rating because I was like, this is good shit. Then I looked at him and he was like, can this be over? So, you know, I cannot trust my boyfriend's opinions when it comes to musicals. I watched Mary Lee We Roll Along. I listened to it so much. I love it. And he listened to like a little piece of it, but it's also like the most dramatic part. Like everyone's singing at the same time. Like, you know, the most intense part of the musical that you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And he hated it. And I get that. Like... I get that the breaking point, like the 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 big finale, no, not the big finale, the big, <laughs> what's it called in English? I cannot, for the love of God, um, the the pre the end of Act One, Jesus, okay, um, yeah. Anyways, he doesn't like musicals, so he's not. <laughs> he cannot say musical is bad. Anyways, I printed the wrong poster for no hard feelings so i just wrote down no hard feelings on the bit of the poster that i printed out it went wrong it's fine i did enjoy the movie like i think it's a little bit weird obviously i don't love the sort of grooming situation going on but i did love the humor in it it's it's finally something different in a american comedy like american comedies are always kind of like the same and this one had slightly better jokes and i really enjoyed it um it's very quotable like <laughs> when they're in the in the bar and he orders a pepsi coke and then the waitress is like we only have cola and he's like can we go somewhere else it's just it's so good like it is funny. It's it's a weird movie, but it's funny. I like it. Um, then we watched Home Alone. Like seen that movie a million times, but it's great. I also watched what is it called? Totally Killer, 
with um Sh- Sharon Knepnin Knick Kieran Shipkin Sh- <laughs> Kieran Ship, I don't, I don't know anymore, guys. I. <laughs> Anyways, I really like that movie. It's like eighty slasher with time travel, and I like it. I laugh really hard. Like at some point in the movie, the girls are going on a drinking trip, and one girl starts screaming like there's a murderer because it's it's sort of a horror film, and. Then one of the other girls like, what? And then the girl says, we forgot the vodka. Like, oh my god. Yeah, I really enjoyed that one. There were funny jokes and just good aesthetics and just, I don't know. It was solid. So, uh, yeah, that was my movie reviews. I'm now just going to stick down the TV shows that I've watched. And you can just hopefully read what I thought of it. Um, Happy New Year's. I hope you have a wonderful New Year. I think this year is going to be better i have a feeling um you know i'm hopeful and i made a new outro so definitely stay tuned for that i really like it so cute i'm also going to be doing a little shop update i'm going to add a few new earrings to my shop very soon so definitely follow my shop on instagram it's my journal shop uh you can just order through dms paper paypal or tiki if you're dutch and um, i'm really excited they're super cute and um, of course you can still buy custom journals and other things that are on my shop but um, yeah the shop update is just going to be earrings because I just found cute charms that I want to make into earrings so that's going to be up soon and um, yeah definitely subscribe to this channel if you want more creative content and if you have videos ideas that you really want to see please let me know if you're like I want more videos of you how can I make that happen or how do I get Happy Meal from you? You can sign up for my Patreon. It's linked in the description. In February, both the puppy and the roaster will be receiving mail. So if you want bigger mail with more, more goodies and a flip book, you should pick the roaster. And if you just want um, some smaller mail, you can go for the puppy tier. I'm really excited to start making the Valentine's Day mail because it's my favorite. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. And if you like books, definitely also subscribe to my book channel. It's made in the books, also linked in the description. And hopefully I can make you very happy with the upcoming content for 2024. Thank you so much for watching and I would love to see you next time. Bye!